Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Today we're going to take a look at a video and learn how police use and abuse case law in order to violate your rights. We're about to take a look at a video where a police officer becomes upset because a passenger refuses to identify. Don't be fooled people if you don't know this by now. If you are a passenger in a vehicle, even if the vehicle is legally stopped, you do not have to identify unless you're suspected of a crime. Obviously, all police do not know this, nor do they even care to know this. That's why you must know your rights, because if you don't stand up for them, who will? Let's take a quick look at this video. We're going to dive a little bit more into it later. Is your light? I didn't. You got ID on you? Uh, sir, what crime am I committed? Well, I can tell you right now, she's she's got some issues going on. Okay, but so, you guys pulled her over. I'm not driving. You're all in a car that plates that don't belong on it. So once we get everybody identified, we can go that route or we can play the hard route? Uh, sir. Do what? Sir, I didn't commit any crime. What crime have I committed? All right, you want to step out of the car too then? Go into handcuffs? Sir, so why, you, why am I being detained? Are you going to give me a social name, date of birth? One of the three. Why am I being detained? Hey, you want to watch him in the back? He's claiming chest pains. Do what? Why am I being detained? unless we're in the commission of a crime. Go ahead and put that out real quick. I got the band. Huh? I got the band. Uh, love ya. He said she's calling. Go ahead and leave your phone in the car. Hey, record this. You got any guns or anything crazy on you? Just don't reach in your pocket. I don't have any. I don't give consent. 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 Well, guess what? I can pat you down for what? I know. Understand that. Yes, sir. This cop is so upset that the passenger won't identify. He makes him step out of the vehicle, which he does have the right to do. But here's the problem. He does not have the right to illegally detain the passenger for not identifying, for standing up for his Fourth Amendment rights. Always remember, as a passenger, you still have constitutional rights, even if the vehicle is stopped legally. Let's take a look at a few quick passenger defense tips. As a passenger, you have the right to be free from unreasonable or illegal searches by law enforcement. As a passenger, you can remain silent and do not have to answer questions by police. As a passenger, you can challenge the legality of the traffic stop in court, even if you're not driving. As a passenger, if you are asked to step out of the vehicle, you must comply because the officer does have the legal right to ask you to do so. But remember this. The United States Courts of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit, which oversees Arizona and several other Western states, recently ruled law enforcement cannot extend a traffic stop because a passenger refuses to give their identification unless, unless the officer has a reasonable suspicion the person has committed a crime. So as a passenger, if you're not committing a crime, have committed a crime, or about to commit a crime, the police officer cannot extend the traffic stop. Remember, Rodriguez versus the United States of America, where the United States Supreme Court ruled that an officer cannot extend the stop without probable cause. Therefore, if you're ever on a traffic stop and you're the passenger and you are not suspected of committing a crime and you refuse to give your ID, but the police officer has extended the stop, not only is he violating the U.S. Court's Appeals for the Ninth Circuit's ruling, He's also violating the Supreme Court ruling of Rodriguez versus the United States. What's this? Put it in there, okay? That way it doesn't I, get broke. I don't get the to search me. I don't want to get broke, okay? Okay. This is 
It is. Yeah, I'm talking to her. Huh? I'm talking to her now. Okay. What was her name again? Crystal. It's Crystal. Crystal, the car is in probate court. This is a bit of a short video. It cuts off before we get the full story, but what we see can be used for a teachable moment. Guys, remember to download my free ebook. It's going to help you to know what you can and can't do when dealing with the police. And if you're really serious about learning your rights, make sure you register for my online course properly titled Surviving the Police. It's going to teach you in detail what the cops can and cannot do and what you can and cannot do. It's going to help you to ensure that your rights are not violated. And if they are, that you can get a healthy payday and you sue the cops. With that being said, we the People University signing off.